my gosh, I have the hiccups. The hiccups is making it so hard, but now is the best time for me to film. Go away, hiccups. <laughs> hello, hello, my name is Laura, and this is my channel, Laura's Little Library. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over all of the historical fiction that I've been wanting to read. So recently, I did a reread of Lovely War, and I still loved it, and it just very much put me in a historical fiction mood. Especially, I have a lot of historical fiction on my TBR, and I just haven't been reading it much lately, which is such a bummer. So I'm going to make a video talking about all the historical fiction that I want to read, in hopes that motivates me to pick up the historical fiction. So I'm gonna start off with an honorable mention of a current read, Anna of Cleve. I have been halfway through this book for almost two years and I still think about it and I still talk about it. So I would love to finish this. I won't say anything more because yeah, it's been a while. It deserves to be finished. Um, and then the other book that I own that I haven't read yet, I have read almost all the historical fiction I own, which is pretty good for me. But there's one more book that I own that I haven't read, and that is The Prisoner's Wife, and this is by Maggie Brooks, and it's inspired by an extraordinary true story. Um, but it's about this man and wife who um, are... She pretends to be a man I think when they're running um, so that when they are caught and put in concentration camps they are put together because they think the wife is a man so they can still be together which sounds adorable but also just sounds terrible so I think this will be the first one that I would love to get to um, when I finish the books that I want to read this fall so yeah I'm gonna start off with this one. I don't own any of the other historical fiction books that I want to read, so I'll probably either get them from the library or as audiobooks to listen to. Or who knows, I might just buy them, but I have recently been put on a $20 limit per month for books, so I basically am going to be buying one book a month now so it's very unlikely that I will be going on a historical fiction book haul even though I would love to do that anyway another book that I've known for a while that I want to read is called The Dressmakers of Auschwitz and it is based on the true story of women who were in concentration camps who sewed who sewed dresses for high and powerful women Nazi women and I think that's just such an interesting concept for this. And I believe it's based on a true story, which is very interesting. I'm curious to see kind of like if there is a plot or if it's more slice of life. But that's one that I would love to get to soon. Another book that I recently came across that seems pretty interesting is Death at Greenway. And this is by Laurie Rader Day. And I don't know too much about this. I think it's nurses during World War II. A lot, I feel like a lot of these are World War II and I really want to read more than World War II, but that's, that's a discussion for another time. Nurses go into the home of Agatha Christie. So yeah, and I think it's a kind of murder mystery. So it takes place at Agatha Christie's house with this disgraced nurse from World War II and it's all just a big mess. So I think it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting to read a uh, a story like this. I'm sorry I did not do a very good job of explaining it. I barely understand, and these hiccups are killing me. Another world that I would love to read takes place after World War II, and it's called They Went Left, and it's by Monica Hesse. And this is about a girl who was separated from her twin brother. <coughs> And so once the war is over, she travels through Poland and Germany to try and find her brother and reunite her family. 
Um, so I think that's going to be a heartbreaking one. So we'll just have to see. But all right. Now for a non-World War II historical fiction. I would love to read The Henna Artist. And this is by Alka Joshi. And this and so this book is about a woman who's escaping an abusive relationship and she becomes a henna artist and she i believe becomes this amazing henna artist that people make special effort to go to for their celebrations of and i believe it's in the 1950s of jaipur which is re really interesting because the 1950s is one of my favorite eras in the united states purely because of like the fashion and the lifestyle lifestyle which is not going to be present in this book because it takes place not in the united states and so i'm really excited to kind of see a place in that time that is very different and what life was like there there i also have read a book called my calamity jane and the three authors of that book have written two other Lady Janie books and one of, and one book called My Contrary Mary and there I believe the Jane books are My Lady Jane and My Plain Jane and those are just following different Janes throughout history, some prominent Jane figures and so I would love to continue reading those. I chose to read My Calamity Jane because I thought it would be my least favorite of the series um, and I ended up enjoying it so that just bodes well for all of the other books that I think I will enjoy more. There are so many books on this list but I'm going to tell you about just one more. So yes I'm going to tell you about one more book on this list but I have so many more books on this list. There are so many books I would love to get to um, but that is called The Blossom and the Firefly and this takes place in Japan. So for this one I'm just going to read the description right off of Goodreads here. It's by Sherry L. Smith. It's Japan 1945. Taro is a talented violinist and a kamikaze, kamikaze pilot in the days before his first and only mission. He believes he's ready to die for his country until he meets Hana. Hannah hasn't been the same since the day she was buried alive in a collapsed trench during a bomb raid. She wonders if she would have been better to have died that day until she meets Taro. A song will bring them together. The war will te tear them apart. Is it possible to live an entire lifetime in eight short days? I think if I read this one right after reading Lovely War, I'm just going to lose, lose it all. It's just, I'm not going to have any emotions left. I'm just going to cry cry out all of my tears <sighs> but there are so many other books I would love to read like a uh, girl in the blue coat in the shadow in the shadow of blackbirds um, like just so many more but those are some of the, the ones I said are at the top of my list but if you read any historical fiction and you have any suggestions that I haven't read or haven't mentioned comment them down below so that I so that I can know what they are and I would love to talk to you guys about historical fiction. Um, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell as I have been uploading videos twice a week. My uploading schedule will change. It will probably change to Sundays and Wednesdays rather than Tuesdays and Thursdays just because of a change in my work schedule. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed and you hit the bell so that you're notified when I post. Otherwise, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.